Hi, I'm Corey and welcome to Creating with Scraps. This isn't a quick update video on my Etsy shop, Creating with Scraps, the ink box stands that I had available and the two for five. I had told folks that were interested in purchasing these um, after they sold out last time that I would have some available at the beginning of April and I do. I've, I've made quite a few, but I've gotten messages from people in different places via um, I, my email or comments on videos or through my Etsy shop. And what I want to do is make sure that I have enough of what you want in the size or the configuration that you want. So if you could do me a huge favor and comment below about one, two, or three whole ink boxes, if you're wanting an ink box, that would help me make sure that I have enough of whichever pieces that you're wanting the most. Um, they are seven eight and nine inches and I changed the size and I'll go over that in just a sec simply because they fit in the boxes I was able to purchase um, to ship them. Shipping is really spendy. I shipped a two whole box yesterday with some paper pieces from Washington where I live to Ohio and it was $15. So what I think I'm going to do for the one whole if you want one one whole it'll go in the boxes that I bought or one two whole or one three whole and I am going to do the um, Priority Mail 845 flat rate. Simply because some places it's 6 bucks, and some places it's 7 and some places it's up to 10 or 12 And just for the sake of ease, and you know you're getting exactly what you wanted, I'm going to go that route. For, for others, um, I'm going to put them in, um, in the boxes that I purchased to fit these, and it'll be based on the weight. The two holes a little bit heavier than the three hole. No. The two holes heavier than the one hole and then the three holes heavier than the two hole and so on so it'll be based on what they actually weigh same thing i've got some people in canada and the uk who asked for these and i will ship them to you and i will just charge you whatever the actual shipping cost is all right i built in the cost of the boxes that i purchased into the cost of these and um the original ones that i made and sold were from scrap that i had at home i purchased the hemlock molding or trim around but the the bases themselves were just from scrap um three three quarter inch plywood that I had I purchased these so the cost went up a little bit and I told people that would be the case so one hole is going to be $25 no one hole is going to be $20 two hole is 25 and three hole is 30 and again it's just a matter of what your preference is I had been using the one hole and then fumbling for my glue so I made a two hole so that I would have my art glitter glue and my my blending tool and my ink together and then I realized that because I've been making a lot of clusters, I needed a three hole. So whatever your personal preference is, I've got them and you can let me know what you'd like and I will make sure you get that. What I'm going to do is separate them on my Etsy shop. If you're going to make a multiple purchase or if you're going to do a single purchase and which one. So I'll separate them out that way so the sh shipping is charged accordingly. I learned the hard way last time. Um, some people ordered two and the shipping was still a flat $7, whether you had one, two or three. So I ended up, um, well, learning, learning from my mistakes. So I'm going to do it differently this time. And I will list them separately this time. But my big thing is I want to make sure I've got what you want. So if you could comment below that, yes, you're interested. It's not a commitment to purchase. It's just allowing me to make sure that I have enough of the configuration you want. So if you can comment below saying, yes, I'd like a one hole or a two hole or a three hole, whatever, then that'll give me an idea because I've got them all pre-cut but I haven't drilled the holes yet and I haven't I haven't s s split them out basically so I want to make sure I've got what people want also um so these were going to all be loaded Saturday morning uh, I don't know eight o'clock and creating with scraps and I'm going I know some people had a hard time finding my Etsy shop heck I have a hard time finding it sometimes it just doesn't always pop up when you put in the title so I will include a link below and um these will be loaded on Saturday morning. Additionally, other people had asked about the five for 10 or two for five. I am no longer gonna do the five for 10 simply because it got spendy to ship those. Some of them were 55 cents, some of them were 75 cents, some of them were 95 and some were a dollar something. Whereas I found most of the two for fives were the 55 cent priority stamp or forever stamp or what have you. And the way that's going to work is, again, I'll just load the number of envelopes that I have, and you will get a total of three pieces. You'll get two handmade items, one of the random Scrap Buster items, and my list right now has about 30. So you'll get one of 30 different Scrap Buster items. 
you will get a base, which is not a decorated piece like an envelope or a tag or a glassing bag or um, time card, whatever it is. You'll get a base and you'll get a cluster. So each of the two for five envelopes will include a cl cluster of some sort. And they won't look like this. They're all very different and random. You'll get a cluster, a base, and then one of uh, roughly 30 different items. So that'll be the two for five. And these are the ink boxes. And the slow stitch needle books. I have not had time to finish those, so they will come, they'll come out later. I have purchased all the books that I need to for the kids for the rest of this year. I had mentioned to somebody, we're reading The Boy Called Bat right now. A Boy Called Bat. We'll be reading Esperanza Rising in April. Uh, Crenshaw by Catherine Applegate. I think it's Catherine. I think so. The lady who wrote Running Only Ivan. We're reading that in May. And then the mixed up top files of Mrs. Basil E. Frank Weiler in June. And that takes us to the whole year. And so why, Corey, are you then selling more things? Well, because I think I'm teaching a fourth, fifth split next year. And I want to be able to purchase books when they go on sale. So what I'll do with the proceeds from these, I'll just put it aside. And then this summer when books go on sale or I find them, I can purchase them. So, so there is that as well. All right. If you've got any, oh, 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 one thing that came up. The last time I mailed things, um, two different ladies who ordered boxes, ink boxes, did not get them. Even though I had tracking numbers and shipping and I'm dealing with the USPS on that. And they let me know so I was able to mail replacement ones. And one lady sent me yesterday, um, a, the two for five envelope was um, mailed on March 10th. And she said, well, when am I going to get it? And well, I don't know. I, I don't run the USPS. But any time you don't get something that you are wanting in a reasonable length of time. Now, granted, that's three weeks and it's a long time. But mail has been ridiculously slow. And I'm, I'm not criticizing the USPS. I understand that the pandemic and such things have been crazy. But let me know if you don't get it is what I'm trying to say. And I will make it right. And I will snap a picture of the new item going out and being mailed so that you know you're getting it. With the tracking numbers, I sent the tracking numbers so they could see that um, the, the box has just disappeared somewhere in transit. But let me know and I can make it right. All right, that's all I've got for today. If you've got any questions or comments, put them below. And happy creating.